For the past 50 years, every hour of every day, one of four Royal Navy nuclear armed submarines has been patrolling the seas, described as the ultimate guarantee of the nation's security. Currently, it's the job of the Vanguard boats, able to launch long-range Trident missiles with multiple warheads. But the submarines are due to come to the end of their life by the end of the next decade. Keep 20 metres. Keep 20 metres, Roger. The Conservatives want a like-for-like -like replacement, but the Liberal Democrats have long argued for a cheaper alternative. I don't believe that the only future uh, choice that we need to make is a uh, carbon copy repetition of the Trident system as it is uh, configured at the moment, namely ready to be uh, fired any minute of any hour of any day. There will be some people uh, who conclude that alternative weapons systems are not a practical uh, solution, but who want to think about having a part-time deterrent rather than the continuous at-sea patrolling uh, that we currently use. Uh, with our Trident missile system. That, in my view, would only be worth even thinking about if it was going to save vast amounts uh, of money. Uh, I'm sceptical. This report will highlight a sharp political divide within the coalition. The Liberal Democrats already arguing that the next generation of nuclear-armed submarines could be cut from four to just two. But it won't end the debate. Jonathan Beale, BBC News.